Welcome to another video. So, it is pouring rain outside, and I have not gone out and bought anything from any store. And most of my number 10 cans of Mountain House uh, are in storage in boxes or Sterilite containers. That's the last number 10 can I've got at my condo. <laughs> the rest are all in storage about a mile away from here. So, I mean, if I needed them, I could go get them. But, uh, just thought I'd share with you what I've got, still got stashed at my condo. Um, I've still got some other stuff, but, uh, I didn't really have to go out and panic buy anything. Uh, just go over some of the cool, uh, cooler items that I like. Just got some uh, Hawaii moonshine. Okuliao. Okuliao. <laughs> Hawaii moonshine. Right, um, airborne. It's nice to have your vitamin C intake up if you're uh, if there's a pandemic going around. And I've got my hand sanitizer, disinfecting wipes, uh, Hiba cleanse. Uh, I think Irish didn't know what that was. It's basically a chlorhexidine gluconate. Uh, Surgeons use that to scrub before uh, they um, operate, do surgery. And uh, some isopropyl alcohol. Plenty of rice. Mashed potato. Flakes. Got my oatmeal. Still cut oats. Uh, those those chocolate chip cookies with protein, 16 grams of protein in one cookie. Wow. Uh, still have some bag of cheese left. Made in Australia, that's canned uh, cheese. Um, some people don't like uh, smoked wild kippers, but uh, uh, if you haven't had any food in a week, and you might like them. So, and that they've got a pretty decent shelf life. Now, the best shelf life here is the uh, breakfast skillet in the number 10 can of Mountain House. That's good till 2049. <laughs> and possibly a little bit longer. Um, my tactical Pop Tart video uh, did the. I cooked one of those blueberry turnovers. Um, got a pizza slice MRE from uh, Sterling Foods. Uh, I wouldn't really, it, it says pizza slice with pepperoni, and it's something like a pizza slice with pepperoni, but it really depends how hungry you are and what situation you're in. Throw it in a pan, heat it up, it's food, it's nutrition. It's better than having a chase around mongoose around the condo complex for protein. Um, <laughs> got some mainstay rations, some tack bar, tack bar kit. Oh, that, um, uh, if you're ever bugging out or in some situation where you can't even boil water because you just don't have time or something or too much of a rush, the, the oatmeal stuff, um, it's basically self-heating. You just add water to the self-heating element and, uh, then the whole, it'll cook the whole thing. <laughs> it's a steam vent. Uh, so, yeah, it'll, it'll get really hot if all you have to do is add any kind of liquid to it and uh... so I got some coffee beans never have too much coffee and it's just a general accumulation of uh... uh stuff to eat and I didn't have to go out and panic buy anything what for? I've got to get all this stuff and of course pop tarts these are pretty interesting. Um, apple, mango, strawberry, carrot, fruit bars uh, from Sunripe. I don't know if they're still available on Amazon, but that's where I got got them by the box, so it was pretty inexpensive. Get, but of course everything has gone up on Amazon. I mean, Amazon's wiped out of toilet paper right now. And of course these used to be cheap. The number 10 cans of Mountain House. Now they're either, they, they've like gone up from like twelve dollars a can to fifty or they're mostly unavailable that's what it says if you look on Amazon that they're just you can't buy them at any price so it's unavailable so uh... which also is what happened to silver silver 
could go on any online vendor and it's like okay give us your money and give us your credit card number and maybe we'll get it to you in a week or two <laughs> and there's a minimum purchase of like three hundred dollars <laughs> so uh, if you want silver I'd say go to your local coin shop because it's too late to buy it online uh, and that's where I've got almost all my silver is online I think all my silver I bought online I did pick up some me a metric wrench set at uh, Lowe's the other day that wasn't exactly panic and that's made in Taiwan not mainland China uh, Craftsman metric tool set I didn't get the English one and if it wasn't pouring rain outside I might actually go get that but um and uh, I just there's no need to go out in the rain and panic buy stuff for me although I'm pretty sure 90 percent of the people in in town are doing that right now but when you're you don't have to worry about this stuff when you're prepared you know uh, so all the preppers are you know you go in and laugh at the people who just don't have anything and are <laughs> just emptying the shelves like locusts <laughs> so I guess I'm pretty good to go and this is just some stuff in my pantry all my, my my main food storage is in boxes and sterilized containers into my storage locker it's not even here this is just like the stuff I didn't have time to pack up and get out and if I need to go get stuff from storage I'll go get it but uh, let's hope it doesn't get that bad the ships are all still working uh, Everybody just tunker down and hopefully you don't have to go out and panic buy stuff like this because you're already prepared. I've been meaning to try this Peak Refuel Chili Mac. 40 grams of protein per pouch. Uh, uh, these don't have quite as long as the shelf life as the Mountain House, but they were a little more expensive when I bought them and now they're, they're probably all unavailable too I mean looking for stuff getting the stuff right now is just good luck <laughs> oh those those refried black organic black beans were on sale I was rolling through Safeway about last week and so it was like less than a buck for a can of beans and those those are great refried black beans in um, uh, tortillas or, or you know, tacos, soft shell tacos, anything. Um, and I like that Spanish rice, taco rice. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty good to go. Got some kosher salt if I need it. Although I don't have that much salt. I don't use that much salt, but it is a uh, valuable uh, thing to add to your preps to have some around. And pop tarts, yeah, the unfrosted ones. Uh, when I cruise through Walmart, uh, they don't always have unfrosted, so I just have to get lucky and hit them up on a day when they they put out some unfrosted ones. Because most of the pop tarts have all kinds of sugary frost on them, and uh, makes them hard to turn over. But anyway, did a video on that. Got some vitamins and soap. I'm good to go. I really like that Stubbs barbecue sauce. Uh, had a steak and mixed veggies yesterday and uh, got a partially used bottle of that in my fridge. So, Anyway, everybody stay safe. See you on the next video.